one of the most versatile baits that's ever been, I'm saying one of the most versatile baits that's ever been created is the spinner bait. If you will choose a spinner bait according to the situation that you're fishing, you will catch a lot more fish by doing that. And I'm going to explain to you what I'm talking about. This spinner bait right here is amongst my favorite. Now the size, the color of the skirt, everything, and the blades is my, this is my favorite spinner bait to throw. I have a lot of confidence in it. It's a War Eagle spinner bait, three eighths of an ounce, white skirt, white trailer, double willow leaf. This bait right here is one of my favorites to, to wake over shallow grass, like Millful Hydrilla, in a lake situation. Now, I'm not saying this blade right here won't catch fish in creeks, because it definitely will. But, it's not suited for creeks as much, in my opinion, as the one I'm fixing to show you. Okay, this is a little Strike King spinner bait. Um, it's either a one sixteenth of an ounce or one eighth of an ounce. I get it confused because I threw the pack away, but I have a lot of them. There's a lot of companies that make them. Booyah makes these little micro spinner baits. This is made to order for creeks. It will catch you tons of fish in a creek, far more bass than, than the bigger standard size 3 8 of an ounce spinner bait. The reason why is is because bass and creeks, small rivers, tend to fish on smaller prey than lake bass. And it's that simple. Now it's too light. Even though I prefer throwing the spinner bait on a bait caster, no doubt, this one is too light to do that. So, when they're this light, what I use is a spinning rod. And in this case, um, it's a Gander Mountain Tournament Series medium action rod with a 2500 size Daiwa. The reel is loaded with 10 pound test and a 10 pound test fluorocarbon. That is my preferred setup for throwing these little baits too light with a bait caster. You can't make accurate cast. But, with a bigger spinner bait, a standard size spinner bait, like this one, um, a bait caster is almost necessary. It just is. You need that strength. You need the speed. Um, you need a stiffer rod. I mean, it's just made to order for it but it will not cast those little micro spinner baits. Now, let's get into this right here when it comes to spinner baits, fishing in general. Not just in creeks, but spinner baits in general. You know, there's a lot to it. Size, the color of your skirts, the, the blade itself. In this, in this case, this is a little Indiana blade. Now I have some Colorado blades, I have some willow leaf blades, I have different skirt colors. I can modify this bait into anything I wanted to to suit the conditions. Let's say if the water was real, 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 real muddy, I might want to go to a, a black skirt or, or an orange skirt with an orange blade or a sharp truce blade. You can actually take a magic marker or paint and paint these little blades and interchange them. You know, you can change them right there. Uh, very, very easy to do. You can get out here and you can really find the perfect, perfect color to, to catch these fish with if you, if you want to experiment. And once you do, you can really catch a lot of fish. But I'm just going to stick with this one today. White is a good color for clear water. It's a good color for dingy water. It's a great color uh, for muddy water. 
it presents a a, uh, a bright hue even in muddy water conditions as far as the blade well you don't need much flash or vibration in a creek because these fish are super sensitive to feeding on small minners about that long so they're going to recognize this when it comes by no doubt how i work one of spinner baits is real real easy folks i'm just what i'm doing is i'm keeping it in vision just a slow wind every once in a while i'll kill it let it fall let it flutter when you kill it that way you'll you'll a lot of times that's when you'll get the strike but so far oops i haven't been having to do that i like to eat the dirt right there or eat some water let, let me show y'all what i'm talking about now this is the retrieve right here just a straight retrieve they're hitting it fine okay but let's do it again a lot of times you'll need to just reel it like that on a straight retrieve and just kill it see that flutter when that when that bait stops all of a sudden like that and starts fluttering down a lot of times i hope that hope y'all seen that okay now i'm gonna stop it see that fluttering down a lot of times if that fish is behind it and all of a sudden you stop it like that that's what a trigger the strike a lot of times see they're curious what it is and all of a sudden they run into it because they're swimming in behind it they're actually run into it because when you stop it they'll run into it and that's deadly a lot of times here's an interesting looking little pole right here there's some depth to it too Come down through there and see. Never know. Like a there's a fish. See what I'm talking about? You never, ever know. That's not a bad bass right here. <laughs> it's a spotted bass. Golly, them things fight. But he eat that spinner bait quick really quick I tell you a very very effective way uh, to catch fish in these creeks that's a nice little spotty bass probably about the same size as the first one I caught built a little bit better let's let him go right here now that's a lot of fun and there's all kinds of different booyah makes a good little spinner bait Yes, can y'all? I doubt if y'all can see him, but that fish hit it so hard he bent that blade up. But no problem. We'll just readjust it right here, tune it back up. What I mean by that is to get the the blades stacked right over the center of the hook, right here. Get that arm adjusted just right and hit a it uh track straight in the water but let's try that again there could be another one right there now this hook on this this is a little bitty spinner bait and that's probably a size one hook right there it's not very big at all but it don't have to be Ooh, there he is <laughs> golly Oh man, y'all see that? I hope my hand wasn't in the way. That was a good jump right there. Golly, y'all seeing this? Mm -hmm. Don't, 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 don't. That fish is pulling. Now, as soon as that blade hit the bot, hit the water, y'all excuse me. I'm bad excited now just this soon as it hit. I bet the blade didn't even turn. The blade didn't even turn. That fish was on it. Now this is a little better fish right here than what I've been catching. Come on up here. Oh, he's hung up in something. There he come loose. 
he'll quit in a minute. That's a good bass right there. That's what we're talking about. My, 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 my. I'm gonna retie my knot. Quit. Golly. Look at there. That's a beautiful fish right there, folks. Beautiful spotted bass. Look at the colors on that fish. My, 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 my. I hope y'all can see the colors on that fish. That's a good spotted bass right there. Eat that spinner bait. The fact of the matter is I have some Nico hover mites with me and some other baits. Four inch lizards. Uh, you name it, I've got it with me. Crawfish, all kinds of stuff. Okay. But what's happening is the sun's ducking behind a cloud every once in a while and holding that way four or five minutes. And when this happens, I'll catch a bass. But that's a good spotted bass. Alabama spotted bass. Let's let him go. Okay. Get on back, boy. Where'd he go? I think he ain't a bit of telling. Water ain't real clear. Oh, there he is. There he is. He ain't been out the water long. Let's see if we can get. Oh, he's gone. There he is. He just hit my. He's right. Well, there he goes. You know, there ain't nothing like this, folks. I know exactly where I caught that fish, and there could be a couple more there. I'm going to retie the knot right here. And this is just. A little Daiwa reel. This is a 2500 size Daiwa reel with an old tournament series Gander Mountain Rod. Y'all can see six and a half feet, medium action. I tell you what, and I have a 10 pound test lower carbon leader because I'm fishing with a spinner bait. All right, folks, let's cut this bait off. What I'm going to do, this is 10 pound test floor carbon. I got a a leader here around six feet long and my connection from braid to the leader is my favorite and that's a double uni knot but what I'm going to do is go ahead go ahead right here and put a trilene knot okay y'all see how I've done that go go around about four or five times with this knot this knot is almost as strong not quite, but just about as strong as a Palomar. Wet it and then cinch it, cinch it down like that to keep it from burning. Now that's a good knot right there. So what I'm going to do, the water's a little bit dingy, kind of all this rain we've had. I'm sure this water is normally a lot clearer than this or quite a bit. I'm going to put on white's a real visible color, but I'm going to go ahead and put a pink trailer right here or a sharp truce. Let's just put a pink one. This is Moon Dog Bait Company, by the way. This fella sent me these baits, I don't know, um, a while back. I just hadn't had a chance to use, use them, but I'm just going to go in there about like about like that it's just a little swim bait that's all it is okay now that right there might make the difference okay so let's go see if we can catch another one because i can't help it i know there's some more fish right there if we can get them to bite and hey let's just see what we can do whoa i'm gonna see what we can do whoa I'm drinking coffee down there, Jacks. Doggone good looking place. There he is. Oh my. That's a good one right here. Or I believe he is. Not a bad one. I knew that was a fish. Yeah, it's a good fish. Golly. <laughs> Y'all look at that. Woo, he's quick. 
I don't want him to go in that other pole down there. I want him to stay up here if I can keep him. Keep him right here. Golly. I knew that was a good fish right there somewhere. Now, when I say good fish, folks, I mean good for a creek. Yeah, it's a good quality fish. Look you there. Got him. That old blade's doing the job now. And I'll tell you, another thing that I like about these little spinner baits, you can modify them, of course. As y'all know, any way you want to, you can take this little blade off and put a willow leaf, which that's just a single Indiana blade right there. Or you could put a Colorado blade. You could uh, paint these blades different colors. Hey, uh, if it's extremely overcast, well, then you would want to use either a copper or a gold willow leaf or aura indiana or whatever but that's a good fish i'm excited once again can't help it let's let him go man that is a good bass there's some good ones in this creek rocks are slicky y'all see that green that green right there puts you down and i mean quick before you know it, you'll be down. Just like Mama Sue Bob. Man, we're in another good situation. This is a good looking place here. And I expect to catch one right in here, right where that shade is, right along that bank. This has been the pattern right here. There's the shoal. And right here is just before the shoal. And that's been the deal. Now, when I've got something like this going for a pattern, what I do, this is what I do, folks, to make sure I maximize a fish catch in an area like this. In other words, catch as many as I can. I'll start right there like that at the lower end. Okay, I didn't get a bite. I'll make a cast about six feet or so above it and come down through there and so on and so forth all the way down through there the reason why I'm doing that if I were to come up here and make a long cast way up yonder I could drag that fish all the way through that shade that f fish may fight all the way down through the shade and spook fish that's out here in front of him you see so I'm picking them off like that it's a reflexive action type strike. In other words, when I make that cast, pick that rod tip up and come with that spinner bait, all of a sudden it's right there in front of that fish's face. He'll reach out there and grab it. Just the same if I were to throw you a ball without you expecting it, or, or most any object, you'll reach out there and at least try to deflect that or catch it. You'll do one or the other. Well, that's the same thing that's going on right here. All right. Right up there. There he is. That's a good one. Well, they're all good. Boy, boy, boy. Maybe better than what I think. Nah, he just mean. I see him now. Look at that fish, folks. See what I'm talking about? The Alabama spotted bass is a powerful, powerful fish. Quit. That ain't bad. I'm happy. When I start catching fish like that and a little bit bigger, I'm pretty well happy. Quit. He hit it just old 20 feet in front of me. That sharp truce trailer's work. About every trailer I've put on so far is working. It don't seem to make any difference. So let him go right here. Now, <laughs> I mean, he nailed it. Didn't bend my blade up or nothing. So, you know, a lot of times when I'm paralleling this grass, look at all the places folks those fish could be laying up in 
all up in there. They've got all kinds of areas to seek refuge. To set up a, 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 a lair like a lion has a den. And a place to pounce on any prey item that comes by. Oh my goodness! Mm. I seen that fit. Oh my, my. Oh my goodness, folks. Y'all see that? Let's get this fish in. If I can, it's a good bass. But now there's a couple bass mm, right there that's a lot bigger. Man, that's a good fish right there. I think they went right back to where I caught this one. That's a good spot. Let's let him go. But there was one that was real big. All right, let's make a cast up there. Well, folks, that, that was a lot of fun. Spinner bait fishing is not hard. Um, it's very, very important, in my opinion, to have different sizes. One sixteenth, one eighth, one quarter, three eighths, half, five eighths, three quarter, one ounce, whatever. You can fish these baits. They're very, very versatile in a lot of different ways, a lot of different situations. They will catch fish. They, 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 they were catching fish when they was invented. And folks, they will catch fish till the end, no doubt. I want to say God bless each and every one of y'all. Thank y'all for all the great comments. Everything y'all do for this channel is appreciated. Hey. And remember, don't fish it when you can, because it's good for you.